this video we're gonna talk about residual systems and residual systems have to do with arithmetic and they are basically sets of integers which give you a complete remainder set we have two terms to differentiate now the complete residue system and reduced residue system so to give you an intuitive idea of this residue system okay let's take mod 3 okay the residue system of mod 3 consists of for example 0 1 and 2 because this number 0 1 and 2 are all possible remainders you can get when you divide something by 3 just like for example when you have 6 7 and 8 when we divide 6 divided by 3 the remainder will be 0 7 divided by 3 the remainder is 1 8 divided by 3 the remainder is 2 so this 0 1 and 2 are the complete residue system of mod 3 because they are all the possible remainders of an integer 3 because it is said that a complete residue system modulo n is the set of integers which satisfy the condition that every integer is congruent to a unique number of the set modulo n so in the other words, the set contains exactly one member of each residue class. On the other hand, we have the reduced residue system. Okay. So what is the difference between the complete residue system and reduced residue system? Okay, let's take another example. Example. We have mod 8. That could be the complete residue system of mod 8. So that could be one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. These numbers are the possible remainders when we divide something by 8. The reduce residue system talk about dotatives. So what is this dotatives? So dotatives are those remainders or the possible remainders of an integer of our mod m which are lesser than to our mod m. Huh? So dotatives, dotatives, these are the remainders or the res residue system lesser than to our mod m and that are relatively prime or what we call the co-prime so when we say co-prime or relatively prime the the gcf or the greatest common factor of two numbers is only one so the gcf of our two numbers a and b is only one okay for example this one so what could be now the reduced residue system of mod 8 so it could not be zero because their gcf is not one okay so let's take zero how about okay how about one Okay, yes, since 1 is, has only one factor, 1 and itself. Okay, how about 2? No, because they have common, they share common factors, which is 2. How about 3? Yes, 3 is also a dotative or relatively prime lesser than 8. How about four? No. 
because they are not relatively prime because their GCF are is 4. But 5, yes, that is a relatively prime. Since 5 is also a prime number. And since 8 is an even number and a composite, so possibly their GCF is 1. So, 5. How about 6? No, because they have common factor, which is 2. 7. Yes, they are relatively prime. So, this 1, 3, 5, 7 are what we call the reduced residue system of our mod 8. Again, what is a reduced residue system? A reduced residue system is a subset of our complete residue system that are relatively prime and lesser than our mod M. Okay? Okay, let's take another example. Okay. We have here mod 4. Okay. That could be now the complete residue system. CRS. The complete residue, residue system. That is 0, 1, 2, and 3. How about re the reduced residue system? Okay, so that is 0, no. 1, is it 2? No. Only 1 and 3. So that's all for, um, for my discussion this evening. I hope that you gained something about this lesson. And I hope that I explained it well for you to understand about the difference between the complete residue system and reduced residue system. Thank you for listening and God bless. This is Brenda L. Choco signing off.